Hey Deckers, Spider-Man Miles Morales is here and beautifully playable on Steam Deck. As you can see from the footage here, 30 frames per second and some high settings. I'll go into the deeper settings in just a second. But extremely stable, looking absolutely fantastic and an absolute joy to play. And who doesn't love those finisher moves? They just look absolutely awesome. So there are a couple of things that I need to go into. First of all, this was running at... 30 frames per second with no upscaling method and the Steam Deck refresh rate at 60 and the frame limit set to 30. This gave the best overall settings and I was able to push the preset up to high and just look at the reflections off the buildings here and the tricks and everything. Without FSR this looks so much better and I'll go through some of the FSR and 40 frames per second gameplays as well as uncapped so you can see the difference here. But the best that I've found here is to cap this at 30 frames per second using the Steam Deck and run this on high. Now there are a few other issues in this game that is worth noting. The main screen when you come into the game cannot seem to hold 30 frames per second steadily. And I've seen this drop down into the 10 and 20, especially when you are coming back out of the game. So it does default to FSR 2.1 on on quality mode and medium graphics but you're going to want to come in and set those down to low to get a more stable experience if you want more than 30 frames per second you can't really do this with anything other than low settings and there are just a few issues with a lot of the early cutscenes. It does seem to stabilize a little bit later there are some horrendous load spikes and i'm very surprised that this actually got marked as verified rather than playable as you'll see here, a couple of times we just get a big freeze in the middle of the cutscene and then it will jump to the next section. And there's also been a few instances where this freeze happens and the kind of video almost completely corrupts for a minute and you see a different area entirely during a cutscene. For the most part this is okay but it can be quite jarring in a few of these cutscenes to see this sudden lag and it does ruin a bit of the immersion. You can see with that FSR settings on we've got a bit more blurriness around when we're moving around as well and if we've uncapped the frame rate here just to see what it does and you can see that it bounces between that 40 and 60 and even in the cutscenes which would be slightly less demanding you would think it does plummet down into those 30s as well so really not being able to push more than 40 or 50 frames per second stably even with those low setting so if you do want to push the 40 frames per second mode then you can cap the steam deck refresh rate at 40 keeping that v-sync on and you can push those settings slightly above those minimum low and put the texture quality on medium as well as the level of detail just to kind of round it off a bit but keep the fsr 2.1 off as you saw in the footage just now, the FSR really does give quite a lot of haziness and blurriness, especially when you're transitioning around the city. But when you have FSR off and keep that 40 frames per second cap, although we do dip into the mid 30s on occasions and also get these load spikes in game, this doesn't seem to matter what the settings are. You seem to get these load spike sections here and there. But without that FSR on, pushing 40 frames per second is much, much smoother. And capping it at 40 does give it a lot more stability. Now in the buildings and in battles, even with those low settings at 40 frames per second cap, you can see that we do dip into the low 30s fairly often. So that's why I do still recommend just capping this at 30. But if you do want to push slightly higher frames per second, then 40 is a much better area, as long as you don't mind those dips. And to be honest, with 40 cap, if you did turn off the performance counter, you probably wouldn't notice those dips into the 30s that much. So there you have it, Spider-Man Mars Morales looking and performing fantastically on Steam Deck. I will say that my recommendation here is to run it on the high preset, no FSR upscaling at all, and a 30 frames per second cap on the Steam Deck itself. So I'll leave you with a bit more of the 30 frames per second gameplay here with a fight and without me talking. You can let me know in the comments below what you prefer. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.
That's all of them. Now to get the trains back on the tracks. Controls are probably in the office. <laughs>